about you, but whenever I play an MMO for the very first time, or the 15th time, whenever I make a character, there are a few things that go into it. Choosing your race and class. What do I want to be in this game? Take the time to do some research and decide that this is the class that best fits how I would like to play this game. Once you've done that, you decide uh, what race and also if you're going to be uh, female or male. Then you choose how you look. How, how do I want to appear in this game? Based off that appearance, other things may factor in. And then you put your points in. Uh, I want to be a druid and I want to be more caster heavy. So I'm going to put a lot of points into wisdom. Or I want to be able to last a little bit longer if my quag kites get away from me. So I'm going to put a little bit into stamina. Whatever it is that you do, you decide to make the character, the class, the race, the gender, the points that you want to put into that character, and then you get to your name. I don't know about you, but I take a long time before I choose a name for a character. I research things. If I'm going to be playing a Dark Elf, there is a Drow Dictionary translator on online. So I may look something up that says, uh, just recently, I made my enchanter. Their name is Tortha. Whenever I get to level 20, their last name is going to be Levid. And if you look that up in Drow, that means control the chaos. So I, I do research in my names. Some people want to have a funny name. They want to have a role-playing name. Or maybe they just want to make something that is appealing to them. You start the character, you get to the level 60, you've put a lot of time into that character, you grooved up and you've made friends, you've made relationships, you've made a reputation for yourself, you're trustworthy to do transfers, or, or you're a really good tank, or DPS, or healer, whatever it is that you may be. And then you log in, and your name is gone. You're given some random name, and you have to live with that. Or, at least for now. Maybe you can go ahead and contact a GM who changed your name, or any GM, and tell them that you want to change your name to whatever it is. But, in your mind, that, that character has always been that name that you originally had. And it's a, it's a slap in the face, a gut punch, to have that taken away from you. Now, why is it happening currently on Project 1999? Well, there have been roles that have been established since the game has come out. And just recently, GMs and mostly guides have taken under their, their hand or whatever will you may call it, and decided that they were going to start working through those policies. Well, this all originally came about when they hired, or I believe it's volunteer, they brought on a new guide, and the guide within the first few days changed the name of like one of the guild leaders of Aftermath or Awakened or some guild that starts with A or is in the top running slot of rating and then they banned 15 of their accounts. I mean, 15 is a lot of accounts, <laughs> gotta say. But I know people that have one account for every character that they have. That way, if one gets banned, they always have another character that they can play. And as long as you're not trolling or doing things that merit every account being banned that's that's that should be fine for you the reason that the accounts were banned though was not because of a name of a character but the name that was used for the account 
So whenever you log into the game and you choose, you type in your login name and your password, that login name was the reason. And the only way, only way that you can get all those accounts is either they've made one account on the forums and then they added all of those accounts or they have 15 emails and they, ju they did an IP grab, something along those lines. When I've talked to people who've had their names changed, it goes both ways. Either they don't know what they would ever change their name to after they've gotten a horrible name <laughs> given to them by the GMs. So they're kind of in an in-between spot. They're still playing their characters, but they it's like tainted now. And others are more on the side of you know, it's a, it's a mule, or it's a it's a character I don't play very often, so it doesn't really affect me. I'm not going to petition. And to be honest, I don't. I, I everyone I've talked to hasn't petitioned to have their name changed. But here is what I would think would go into having your name changed. It would probably be of your best, um, or t for you to actually make a brand new character and test names to try to get a name that you feel would be great with what your character looks like, what class you are, and test it because they're going to have to test it. They have to take the name that you give them, see if it's kosher with the system itself. If it's not already taken, then also deal uh, with if it's within the policy guidelines and much, much more. Maybe what a better thing would have been is that the GMs contact you directly and say, look, we have a policy, we are enforcing it now, your name doesn't fall within the guidelines, we are changing it. But we're going to give you three days to contact us with a name that you would prefer, or we're going to choose a name for you. That may have been a better way to go about it. The other thing is... Do they change your last name too? I have a character who I'm expecting that at some point their name is going to be changed. But what if I log in someday on flip sides and his name is now Marvin? It, do I do I get a chance to change this last name? Because Marvin with me <laughs> doesn't make any sense. Uh, because his full name is flip sides with me. He's a rogue. He's telling the warrior flip sides with me because I need to backstab things. So here are some of the reasons that they are changing names. One is that they are deemed... <sighs> I'm trying to think of the word. They're deemed unsavory, I guess. They are names that should have never been allowed on the server because they're vile or... They have words in them that are not so-called PG-13. Which, if you've ever seen a Hans video, the first three videos I was in Kinos, there was a name character that I always had to hide the corpses because of it. And you would have heard me say something along the lines of, Oh, I got to hide the singies. And it's because of the fact I had to hide the corpses because I didn't want to get striked for, <laughs> for that on YouTube. So there's that. The other one is that you can't have two names in your first name, meaning that flip sides. That is flips, flip and sides. So it's actually two words in the first name. Um, another one that was changed was stock market, uh, stoner Steve. Those kind of names. Now, you may be saying, well, doesn't uh, Stoner Steve fall in the inappropriate uh, line? No, because there is a guild on the server called Stoners. And if you can have a guild named Stoners, you can have a character named Stoner Steve. So I don't think that, <laughs> that is the reason that he had his name changed. Then the third is the third option. And again, this is more hearsay. This is less me pointing out names or people, guides or GMs. But it feels like for some people that are getting their names changed that there is this 
open book rule. A, you know, it's like an open check that's handed to you that has no number on it, and you can write in whatever you want. And this is where I come to the realization that, you know, guides are human. Humans are vain. Maybe they were once in a raiding guild, and people have vexed them. And now they're bringing that back. And I'm not saying that's happening. I'm just saying that humans are humans. And that is a possibility. But let's also continue on the idea of GMs. Recently, Minden had commented on a post where there were several different things about camping mobs. And he goes along and talks about the Stormfeather camp and also the AC camp and things along those lines. And one of the questions was asked, these people also use uh, used to kite Stormfeather around for however long it took to find a buyer for loot rights. Then Minden replied, selling Stormfeather loot rights is a douche move. I will suspend you for doing it under the play nice policy. Now, are they saying because of the fact that they're kiting that you will suspend them or if they sell it at all? Because if if you at like say the AC camp, you want to pay a little more to loot the ring yourself or whatever the thing is, what if you have your character camp there and you're playing another character and you send that person until saying, Stormfeather just popped, I'm killing them now, get on your character, and then boom, that you've sold them the loot rights to Stormfeather. Is that a bannable thing? By the way, I don't camp Stormfeather. I'm not, I, I have a life. <laughs> I don't have time for that. But what I'm saying is that, first off, under the Play Nice policy, there is nothing that covers this. Nothing that covers banning people because selling loot rights. Now, is it a douchebag move to kite a mob to sell it? I mean, that's the whole reason the scout camp isn't hand in. Whoever gets the hand in first uh, gets the gets the mobs because there was a group that was handing in as fast as they could and then selling the loot rights and then they would let the loot rot if no one bought it. So... That I can understand, but if you are selling loot rights and all loot rights to that mob are considered bannable, then I need to see where in that policy it is telling you that you have that right as a guide or a GM. <laughs> and again, this isn't like pointed at Minden or anything. I'm just saying that these are things that guides are saying and doing and in acting so if these are things that are are covered under the policies i need policies to see verifying this if it's not under the policies don't do it don't don't say that you can ban somebody when it really is not under the play nice policy and i guess that's really it i mean i don't want to harp on it i don't want to point anyone out because I really don't have names to point out. Maybe it is the new guides that are coming in, but I've been helped by the new guides that are coming in. So I'm, I'm kind of in the middle. This is more of how do you guys feel about it? Has your name been changed? Have you tried to petition to see if you can get your name changed to something else? What kind of process did it go through? If you're a guide, what is your side of this? Because we're not hearing anything back from you in, in these regards of name changes and everything else. I, it almost feels like it's made up, some of these changes that are happening. And if it is a policy thing, why in the world is two names a policy issue? Flip signs, stock market, stoner Steve. What is saying that those people that have two names are going to be corrupting the server? Anyway, that's all I have to say. This is Cypher Deck. Peace out.